Welcome to our journey on the stunning MSC Seashore. We sailed on a four-day cruise visiting MSC's private island Ocean Key and the vibrant city of Nassau, Bahamas. Join us as we share with you a full review of all the food we ate for dinner on our four-night cruise. We tell you our honest opinions and give you our suggestions for dining on this beautiful ship. We hope you enjoyed this video and food review from the MSC Seashore. William and I are currently sailing on the MSC Seashore and we're going to share with you what we ate and what we thought about it. So we hope you enjoy this food vlog and review from the MSC Seashore. If you like this video, we would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would love for you to join our community because we have a lot to share with you from the MSC Seashore. So tonight we had dinner at Ocean Key with Marsha and Kurt. And we're gonna kinda go over what we ate and what we thought about it. So for my appetizer, I had the tartare, which was a yellowfin tuna, and it was had avocado in it. It had like a pickled um, onions. It was delicious. I have had something similar on the Encore um, at their seafood restaurant, but honestly, I think that MSC's was better. It was delicious, and I it was it was a big portion. I actually shared some with William because I was afraid I was going to eat it all and then be full, and I still had an entree and a dessert to go. But I would highly recommend the tartare. That was really good. I had the squid, grilled squid. Um, it had hummus and sliced cherry tomatoes. It was it was good. Yeah, we had the dinner package, and part of the dinner package you had a certain menu, but. Um, one of the things they had on the appetizer was a crab cake and they said they did not have the crab cakes right now um, just a supply thing so they also offered two other items that were on the other menu the, the more expensive menu I guess that one included the price so William chose the octopus so you just think it was good yeah it wasn't <laughs> something spectacular it was good what do you think about hummus have you eaten hummus before yes it was good for our entrees, we actually had the same entree. <laughs> we had the wild clams, which was a pasta dish, and it had spaghetti and a Alfredo sauce, and it was phenomenal to me. I loved it. I th thought it had the perfect amount of seasoning, and I just really liked it. I ate a lot of it. I usually don't eat a lot of pasta, but that was delicious. I enjoyed it. It, it had the uh, white wine sauce with it, and I think it was seasoned really well. I mean, uh, I ate it all. <laughs> I thought it was Alfredo sauce. Mm -mm, it's white wine sauce. Okay, he was right. Yeah, I just checked it. It was a white wine sauce, <laughs> but it was really good. That's something I would I would eat again. I thought that mm -hmm. was really good. So, also for dessert, I had the creme brulee, and it was like a bourbon sugar on top of it. Um, I love creme brulee. I thought it was really good. Um, I like the little, you could, I mean, you really couldn't taste the bourbon a lot, but I really liked it. It was just a little bit of twist on creme brulee, but still it was good. It, I mean, it tastes a lot like the original kind too, but I thought it was perfect. I think um, sometimes when people make creme brulee, they don't do the topping right where it's really crispy, and theirs was. It was really good. I had the tiramisu and I didn't expect the portion to be that big. It was. It was bigger than I expected. It was. Yeah. Um, it was delish. I mean, <laughs> delish. I, I mean, it was very delicious. I mean, I enjoy tiramisu. Um, it's probably one of my favorites. So that's what we had tonight for the Ocean Key restaurant. I would highly recommend going there. It was very good. Yes. So for dinner tonight, we ate in the main dining room. Yes, we did. This is actually the only night we're going to be eating in the main dining room because we have three specialty packages and four nights so on the cruise. So um, this was our only chance to have the main dining room, and so we're glad we got to try it. Yes. Um, for my appetizers, the first one I had was the Caesar salad. 
it was a small portion is which I which I wanted and it was really good fresh and I thought it was a good Caesar salad so that's what I had for my first appetizer and my second appetizer I had the shrimp cocktail which you also had a Correct. shrimp cocktail and I was surprised that the shrimp the shrimp were bigger than they we, we compared to other cruise lines a lot so but um they were bigger than the ones you get on carnival yes so they were good it was very good shrimp cocktail um like four shrimps four or five uh, yeah I can't remember. so it was a great shrimp cocktail what do you think about the shrimp cocktail shrimp cocktail was delicious yeah they were seemed very fresh to me but yeah they did yeah so. i had the creole seafood Chicken. chicken gumbo. Mm -hmm. What you think about that? It was it, it was excellent. Uh, I could I'd rather had that as a meal, truthfully. <laughs> That's what he told the server. He was like, if I could just have this in a big bowl for my entree, I'd be happy. So it was really yeah. good. Was it yeah. spicy? Not spicy, spicy. It was flavored and seasoned well. Yeah. For my entree, I had the black and red snapper. I think that was the chef's choice for the night on the menu is what they called it. It came with okra and rice. I thought the rice was a little bit too bland for me, but I really didn't want to eat it. I don't know. I really didn't care not to eat it anyway. I mean, I'm not a big, just plain rice kind of person. So I ate the okra that came with it, which was really good. And the snapper had a great spice to it. Um, it was a large piece of fish. I really didn't finish it all because so much fish, it was such a big portion, but it was really good. And I would highly recommend that. Just not the rice. The rice needed something else, but I was fine with not eating it. Okay. For my entree, I had the New York strip steak uh it was medium it was cooked perfect uh, it, it, it was tender it, it was well seasoned um i i enjoyed it a great portion too it was the right portion it came with uh, steamed vegetables and a baked potato well, you ate it all huh and, uh, yeah it was a good so what portion. kind of steamed vegetables did it have it had zucchini squash and peppers okay everything was seasoned well yeah okay good okay now we have dessert i had the new york style cheesecake with passion fruit topping you can get different toppings like strawberry chocolate caramel something else but anyway i chose the passion fruit and it was very good it was a nice small portion and i really liked that because I felt like the meal was pretty big, like the fish and all that. So I liked having just a small dessert. So it was really good cheesecake and the topping I really liked. I had for my dessert, the Florida Key Lime Pie. It was right portion and it was very good. I mean, it was, it, it was sweet, but tasty. Was it tart? Yes, like tart. Like Key Lime Pie. Yeah, like Key Lime Pie. <laughs> Tart. So that's what we had in the main dining room tonight, and our next meal is going to be um, steakhouse in it. Butcher. Yeah, going to steakhouse tomorrow night. Yeah. So we'll share what we had with you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone. This Hello. Is Laurie and William again. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight we had another specialty restaurant on the MSC Seashore, and we had Butcher's Cut. And I'm full. For our appetizer, we both each had the house chop salad. Is all right. <laughs> <laughs> a little dry. Yeah. Um. I guess I just I could have asked for more dressing on it, but I really wasn't impressed with the dressing anyway. It was kind of like watery or something. Yeah. I don't know. It didn't have a lot of them to it. Yeah. Um. The I think of a chop salad of having more hearty like eggs and bacon and things like that in it. It was barely in there it was it like, was, it the was eggs were like chops it was, it yeah minced up yeah it was mostly lettuce yeah so i wouldn't get it again um yeah. it was big but it was mostly lettuce if i did it again i would definitely get something different so yeah. that was it and then we have very similar food as for dessert um for our entree we had the filet mignon and for the filet, I had my medium rare and you had yours medium. medium. We also, you also get to choose a side and I got um, a baked potato and so did you. Yes. So, um, 
it was a like William said earlier it was a sorry <laughs> um, it was a big fillet um, so if you're questioning whether you're gonna get a good piece of steak or a good sized piece of steak by getting the fillet you are I mean we did so I, I would hope that we yeah. have the same with everybody but it was I couldn't eat it all it was a lot it came with four different sauces it says on there to choose a sauce but they brought out all the sauces so you don't have to worry about that peppercorn Bernays mushroom chimichurra and yeah mushroom sauce um, they were good I had the peppercorn most of mine I had the mushroom yeah um, but it was a good steak. I, I did. I like a, I like a little salty on mine, I think. So I put a little bit of salt on mine, but it was good and they did cook it correctly. And, um, it was, it was really good. Do you like your steak? Yes, it was, it was good. It was well seasoned. Mm -hmm. Um, I put salt on mine. <laughs> <laughs> to me it was well seasoned. I mean, it, it was cooked correctly and everything. Yeah. So it was good. I don't eat a lot of steak, so I, I mean, I, I eat about half of it just because I, y'all notice when y'all watch me, I usually get fish. So. <laughs> and they had a fish choice, but I wanted to try the, the filet and it was good. I would, I would recommend it. So for dessert, we all pretty much got a separate, different dessert. Everybody Even did. Even Kurt and Marsha who are with us got separate. So um, I had the strawberry cheesecake. It was really good. It was, um, a, you know, it wasn't a huge portion, which I like because I didn't want to waste anything. But it has sliced strawberries instead of just the drizzle of the like strawberry sauce. But it also had like the little strawberry sauce too. So it was delicious. I would recommend that. That was probably my favorite. That was my favorite thing on the, on the meal for the meal. I got the lava cake, and it was <laughs> delicious. It was. It, it, I'm sorry, Carnival. It, 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 <laughs> it, it was better than yours by far. Yeah, it, well, I tasted it, and it, it was very tasty. Um, perfect in the center, like it's supposed to be. What kind of? Did it had plain vanilla ice yeah, cream. Yeah, it had vanilla ice cream. Yeah, with like little vanilla beans in it. Yeah, yeah, vanilla I mean, beans. It was good, yeah, so. it was really good. Yeah, the, and the portion was perfect. The desserts that we had were spot on. So would you recommend the butcher's cut? We actually, we, we, we had the three meal plan. Um, so it was, in, it was yeah, I mean, plan. but I, I, I don't know. I might do the fish or some kind of seafood or something <laughs> maybe. So do you think Ocean Key K restaurant was better than the butcher's cut? I did. Yes. I did. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you like steak, that's definitely a place to go. Um, when you get the menu, the menu has um, all kinds of steaks and, and lobster and things like that on it. But with the meal plan, you have like a set menu to order from, which it has great options. And if you want to pay extra and get something off away from that menu, it's half price. Yes, fifty percent. But yeah. It was good. Um, I think I would do it again. I would just get probably, they have a seafood option like salmon or something. I probably yeah. did that instead. But yeah, I'd recommend Butcher's Cut. I, I would too. I, mean, <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. It was really good. I mean, um, yeah. everything was, I couldn't complain about nothing. And tomorrow is Ola Taco, o, Ola Tacos? Yeah. 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 I think that's the name of it. It's the our last night and it's Marsha's birthday and we're going to go there and it's all you can eat. Mm -hmm. mm. All you eat. All you can eat Mexican food. Mm. Hurt yeah. yourself. <laughs> you might need to take a lighter lunch tomorrow. Yeah. For our final night on the MSC Seashore, we ate at Ola's Taco and Cantina, right? Is that Correct, the name of it? yeah. And it was included as part of our three um, dinner specialty meal um, dining package. And if you want to do it without a dining package, it's $17.99 a person and it's all you can eat. So, and I'm full. <laughs> yeah. First, I started off with a margarita. It was a frozen margarita. It's included in our Easy Plus um, dining package, and it was a really good margarita. Um, I, I like that it was slightly frozen, but not. sometimes you get them and they're almost like too much ice, but it was a good frozen margarita. And then um, you just kind of order as you go. They'll leave a menu at the table. I um, ordered the guacamole with, ch with chips. Did you order that too? 
Yes. That was really good guacamole. Fresh. Um, very fresh. They just obviously just made it because it was so fresh and so good. That was like one of my favorite things that I got tonight. Next, we ordered El Chapo, which is also a dip. Um, it was refried beans and cheese, and it was really good. It came out super hot. Like, you had to be careful because it was really hot, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, it was very stretchy, so while you're eating it, like, you take, you dip your chip, and it's like, woo! <laughs> but it had it's a strange. <laughs> yeah, but it had a great flavor to it. Did you like that? Yes, it was, it was good. But I love the guacamole better. It yeah, so if I good. had to choose between the two dips, um, I would choose that. But we, get, but like, it's all you can eat, so you can try whatever. Then after that, we went to the street taco menu, and we had the carne asada street tacos, and they were good. Um, I. I'm really funny about eating steak. It has to be really tender for me to chew it up. And I thought it was pretty tender. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And I, it was well seasoned. Mm -hmm. It had these um, pickled onions on it that just gave it a little bit of different taste in a good way. It was like a little kick of something, but nothing, it was not spicy at all. Um, I just had one of them. How many did you have? I had at least two. <laughs> we may or not yet. <laughs> And then we had dessert. I had tres, I'm gonna say it wrong, I'm sorry. Tres leches, which is like cake and milk, and which I imagine that's what it means. But it was very good. It also had some caramel on the top, and it was a great dessert, and it was a great way to wrap up my meal. I had the same thing she had, but I also got <laughs> dolce de leche. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't do that right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Y'all get what he said. <laughs> but it is, it's uh, like, it was like a uh, frosted pudding with a little bit of cake in it, in a way. And you liked it. Yeah. Was it's not, it wasn't as sweet as what she had. And you had. You and had, I had, yeah. You had two desserts, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was your favorite? The second one. <laughs> the one he was just said, trying to say. Yeah, the one I tried to say. But um, would you recommend people go to this yes. restaurant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would too. I think for, even if we didn't have the dining package, I would have paid seventeen ninety nine to go to that for yeah. sure. Um, we we like Mexican food at home, so it was something that was kind of in our wheelhouse as far as choices for <laughs> dinner. <laughs> yeah. And we cook it at home too, but not as good as they did here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would highly recommend that um, you try that. Now, since this was a what we ate on the MSC Seashore, um, we will address real quick about um, the buffet, because we did eat the at the buffet. Yes. Yes. And people have qu asked questions about that in vlogs and things like that. So we're going to kind of address that. Um, I actually ate the buffet more. F I'm not a breakfast eater. So I ate the buffet for lunch. And William would go up there and have breakfast too. My favorite thing <laughs> in the buffet, well, two things. My favorite two things in the buffet is first that they have a cappuccino machine that makes really good cappuccinos and espressos and macchiatos. Um, and that's included, like it's free. Everybody can get it. My second favorite thing is the pizza. Um, I think each day I've had pizza for lunch. Yes, <laughs> I think I've had pizza for lunch each day. But um, it's thin, like a, a it's thin crust pizza. I mean, it's not crispy thin. It's just like your regular good pizzeria, Italian pizzeria kitchen pizza. Um, of course, you know, this is a European ship and I think it just whoever's making the pizza is just doing a great job. Um, usually on cruise ships, I don't really like the pizza. It's kind of more tasting like frozen kind of pizza or not, you know, not, not like a pizzeria pizza. This was good. Um, I usually just eat one slice for lunch. It was so big that you really, I didn't need anything else to fill me up. So those are my two favorite things in the buffet. My, I, I like she said, breakfast. I like the buffet he on liked, breakfast. Yeah, I didn't eat breakfast. And um, the consistency that they had was they had lox and bagels and they had bacon every day. So your two um, favorite things. <laughs> my, well, they had a consistency of it for every day. So how would you um, wrap up your idea, your thoughts on the food on the MSC Seashore? Overall, I, I think the food was excellent. I mean, I, I really do. 
Um, and we do understand that we did specialty restaurants. We did not do the main dining room every single night. So those of you that do it for every single night, we can't tell you it's consistently good. But the one night that we did main dining room, it was very good and it was great service and we ate, the food came out quickly. So um, I know people get different experiences, but we've had a great experience with the food on MSCC Shore and I was very impressed. So would you choose MSC Seashore again, and not just because of the food, but would you choose it again, or MSC? Yeah. Period. Yeah, I would. I would go on a cruise ship again with on MSC. I yes. would absolutely go on MSC yes. again. I think it was a great deal for what we got. I think that everything was very nice. The crew was amazing, and you know, we might not have this experience all the time on MSC, but this experience was fantastic. Yes. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we invite you to do so. If you, have, if you haven't hit that thumbs up by now, please do so. We appreciate that as well. And as we like to say, don't forget to journey, journey on. on. <laughs> Bye. If you like this video, check out the video to the left where we take you on a full tour of the new cruise port in Nassau, Bahamas.